What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I was just going through the comment section, and I always like to respond to subscribers, right? Subscribers have questions, and if it is a good question to where I can make a video off of it and need to make a video off of it, I feel like I need to do that. And in this video, I want to talk about the phrase, all in. You know, when I think of all in, a lot of other people think of all in. They think of the same thing, right? Throwing everything that you have on that one play. Um, and a poker player thinks of it a lot differently. It's the same thing, essentially, but it, they look at it differently. Because if you are a true uh, poker player and you're not someone that just, you know, gambles, like you know what you're doing, like you can go all in without gambling, without just risking it all because you know that this is what you do. This is your profession, right? So I want to talk about this in this video because I've made a ton of videos and this is going through a lot of my different content that's out here. Um, I've made a lot of videos talking about going all in, right? You see this one all in, you see all in on Grok, all in on these three coins, all in on XRP, um, all in on Jasmine coin, um, all in on a lot of different things and how I, how I've gone all in on things, even uh, B and B. I put a lot of money on that, put a lot of money on ETH as well. Um, obviously at those points, it was a, a different story to where I held a lot of BNB and wanted a lot of BNB while it was at a low price. And I think it's still at a, a decent price, but you know, it's not as low as it was. And at that time, I really didn't have a ton of money I had to take from those funds and fund other things. But the point is, is that I've gone all in on a lot of projects and that's basically investing everything that I have at that moment on that position. Now, how have I gone all in on so many different projects? The question that I received was, Matt, I don't think you understand the term all in because you've gone all in on 10 plus projects. And I wanted to talk about that because you can go all in on multiple projects. You just, you need to do it over time, right? If you do it and say, I'm going all in on this play and then the next five minutes you go, I'm going all in on this one and this one and this one, like that's where it's like, you can't do that because you have a certain amount of money, right? If you're a poker player, let's say you are a poker player, um, you have a certain amount of money that you have on the table, right? And you won a bunch from different games that you played, and then you're reaching like that final game, you go all in, they go all in, and you're like, okay, I want to, you know, you put down your cards, whatever, right? You don't now go, okay, well, I actually had more money, I'm gonna also take my house, and I'm gonna put that here, and, and do that. It's like, no, that's the money that you had on the table. The money that you have on the table is how you go all in. So I'll tell you what projects I've gone all in on and why I've gone all in on them. And I can also tell you that I'm going to go all in on other projects. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. Um, and if you guys want to start trading on Margex, feel free to trade on Margex. That link is down in the description. Honestly, I've had a lot of fun with that um, and I've been able to make profits with it in the recent uh, past. I guess uh, what we've seen lately uh, hasn't really been the greatest thing. It's starting to come back because you know, you're know you seeing the market that's starting to pick up again after dropping down from a $1.8 trillion market cap all the way down to a 1.5, which I don't think anybody really expected for that to happen. There's a ton of people out there that expect Bitcoin to go to zero and all crypto to go to zero. So I can't say nobody expected it to happen. But uh, most people expected a, a decent retracement. And I thought that retracement was going to happen over time. If it was going to pull back, it was going to happen over time. So anyways, where does this, this video um, come from? Like, why am I making this video? What was the position that really you know, maybe grinded someone's gears? Now, again, this is... Um, a subscriber. So this is the reason why I'm responding to it. I've received some of these comments before, but they've never been really from subscribers. It's always been someone outside of, you know, someone that subscribed to me. And they would always go, I don't think you know what all in is. You're stupid. And, you know, they go on about their day. And I'm like, okay, could you, like, I can elaborate, but, and, or they'll be like, you don't know what all in is unsubscribe. And I'm like, you weren't subscribed in the first place. It's like, what are you, what are you talking about? I can see the history. I can see all of that. But anyways, the point is, is that I made a video yesterday about AVAX, right? Investing into AVAX and how I'm going all in on AVAX now. 
And I feel like AVAX is going to be a great play, right? Uh, obviously it already is. And I wish I would have been able to invest in lower because it was at like eight or $9. And now it's at a value of like $32, which I technically invested or put all that money in on around 30 or $31 there. Um, and I talked about where it came from and all that stuff and how I'm probably going to be putting more money into there. And you're going to see that slowly grow to where it might be even worth more than, you know, Harvest Finance or Krill or Jasmine Coin or whatever, right? You never really know because I have a lot that's actually at risk over on Margex. And, you know, I could gain quite a bit as, you know, Soul does run. It's an investment. I leveraged AVAX for a Soul investment. Um, but the point is, is that I'm invested into Avalanche, right? I went all in on Avalanche. I had $1,000 plus dollars in order to invest at that point. Uh, so I decided to throw a lot of money on Avalanche, all the money that I did have on the table to invest for that specific time period. It's just like a poker game. It's just like you going, all right, I'm invest. I'm going all in. And then you play another game, maybe the next week or the next month, and you go all in again. You can do that. And the reason is because you don't want to risk everything you possibly own on one game. If you risk everything you own on one game, the chances of you losing are very high. The chances of you, you know, seeing other things run before you see this thing run is very, um, very high, right? Because you have so many other projects that are out there that are making moves, whether it's a meme coin or whether it's something that has utility. And that's what I want to be a part of is something that that moves, everything that does move. So when I go all in on something, when I buy a lot of a certain play, like an XRP, like a Jasmine coin, like a Terra Luna Classic, like an Avalanche, the, the reason why I go all in on those is because I want to put as much as I can at that moment on that play. And I see the benefits of where that can be in the future. It's not something where I'm looking for it short term. And then people will call out and say, you know, you invested all in on this play. You must be mad right now. It's not for tomorrow. I didn't invest for just tomorrow. And when I go all in, I now have an opportunity maybe later in the month or another month to invest in at a lower level. Kind of like what I did with, with Grok. I went all in on that position. And, and that was the first time where I had a decent amount of money to do that. And then you know what? The next month I came into more money. And when I came into more money, I was like, this is the this is the opportunity. So I'm actually like I'm going to go all in on this day and it's going to be my final time going all in on this play and we're going to see how this this plays out, right? Um and that's where I am with with Grok and I have 1 million. I went all in with Jasmine Coin. I have 1 million. I went all in with XRP. I have 20,000 and those are the levels that I want to hold and I'm not planning on buying anymore. Um if it gets to the lowest level possible. So like I hear that the prediction for like XRP could be 13 cents. If it gets from a level of 53 cents down to 13 cents, of course, that will be another opportunity to go all in because it's at a way lower price to gather just as much as I had before, but for an insanely low price, more than I spent to begin with. And I believe it can go a lot further if it finds a way to go down to that point. Now, I don't see it going down to that point, but anything could happen. But the point is um, with this video is that you can go all in on multiple positions. Don't think that you have to, in order for you to officially go all in, you have to throw all of your eggs, your mortgage, your, your uh, car, just take all of your assets and go, I'm throwing it all in on this one play. And any money that I make now is also going on that play. And if I have to pay bills, screw that. I'm just throwing it all in on this play. No, you have a certain amount that helps you survive. And I think people just want, they just want you to fail. And I'm not saying this person wants me to fail. They are subscribed to me, but I'm not saying, um, you know, anybody wants, you know, you to fail, but there are people out there that will question any method that you do have. This method seemed to work well for me over my lifetime, and that's the way that I, I go about it. So I'll talk about going all in, I'll talk about putting everything on, on red there, but it's more of an educated guess than it is of you going, um, let me just throw it in and see what happens. Like, no, you understand why you're investing in on that play, and you understand why you're throwing uh, everything that you have on the table for that day in that play. But that's my breakdown of it. Let me know if that makes sense to you. Let me know if you go all in on positions or if you truly put up 
your your mortgage, your car, and everything else that you own for one specific play. Because then, you know, it's going to be certain that you either fail or lose a lot on what your net worth is because you're investing so much more than what you had in that day. But anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully that answered a bunch of questions that do come through. Um, and if you guys want to check out my Patreon or check out my uh, um, Margex link, my referral link, feel free to check that out. The link is in the description. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.